Hey there, I have a couple quick questions for you. Number one, when's the last time you Googled yourself? Two, did you like the results? And three, do you need more five-star client reviews? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to own your online presence so that you show up on the first page of Google results when someone searches your name. And trust me, they will and they are. I'm also gonna walk you through our step-by-step -step process to get more client reviews now with a huge emphasis on Google My Business. Hi, I'm Jan O'Brien with WBNL Coaching and our goal with this channel is to educate, inform, and inspire you to reach all of your goals and dreams for your business. If you're enjoying this content, please do us a favor, share it with others, like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications so you know when we post a new video. One of the first things I do when someone reaches out to me about coaching is I Google them. It's the best way to learn a little bit about them before I actually make the connection. I also do this because it's one of the first areas I generally have to help somebody with. Amazes me how many people are not owning their presence online and that they don't maybe have no reviews or they're very successful and have a lot of closings, but you wouldn't know that by looking at their reviews online. Trust me, your leads, prospects, and referrals, they're doing the very same thing. They are checking you out online. So let's dive in. Action step one. You must complete profiles on these platforms. Google My Business, Zillow, Realtor.com, those are the big three. Then LinkedIn and your Facebook page, you definitely can get testimonials and recommendations there. And the last two I want to mention are homelight.com, especially if you are doing a lot of business, particularly in a certain neighborhood. It's a way for you to get a referral and then you pay a referral fee. You don't have to pay for that up front. You put a free profile. If they match you up with a buyer or seller, you'll be paying a referral fee. And yelp.com, especially if you're a Yelp user or you know that your clients are Yelp users. I really think it's more about Google right now than it is Yelp. So. If you already have profiles on these platforms, do a refresh. Go see if you need to update your photo or your bio or anything else. All right, so that's step one. I want to talk next about how powerful Google is. So we're going to talk about boosting your local authority with Google. And it starts with Google My Business, formerly known as Google Local, Google Places. It's the platform that powers Google's business listings. And it gives your real estate business, because you are an entrepreneur, you have a real estate business, it's the opportunity to show up in search engine results, all right? So first thing, do you already have a profile? Did you maybe start one a while ago and you kind of forgot about it? Well, go to google.com forward slash business and start the process and you'll see if your name, uh, see if it comes up. You do need a Google account. You don't have to be using Gmail, but you do need a Google account and you'll set one up if you don't have one. So you're gonna go be at that link, google.com forward slash business and just start entering your business name. I recommend that you start with your name, then your company name. You're gonna select a business category by typing in a few words in the search box and choose an existing category. There's like real estate agents, real estate, uh, there's two or three that apply. Uh, choose one of those. You can actually choose more than one. Select your service area. Then you're gonna enter all your business info, physical address, etc. Now there's a verification process that you'll have to go through. You'll have to verify your business location Generally, it's your office where your, your license hangs, and you're going to have to do it by mail. Google will send you a postcard to that business address that you enter within one to two weeks. Enter the PIN code once you get that back on your profile, and then it will activate. If you don't do this, you'll never show up in the maps or when somebody searches for you by name. Most local businesses verify by mail. However, some businesses like Service area businesses have other options like verification by email, a phone, or a search console if you're an advanced Google user. Once you're all verified, you can add photos, you can add links to blog posts, you can add things like events, open houses is a great example. You could use the product area to maybe put your listings up there. Uh, there's a lot that you can do, and obviously it's where you're gonna get some reviews. I'll talk about that in a moment. Before I get into the review process, I do wanna talk briefly about Google service ads. Once you have a great profile and you have reviews, okay, these, th those things have to happen first. You can start a process to get verified and screened by Google, and then you can set a, 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 a monthly budget and show up when people type in generally, just generically, real estate agents in your city, you could come up in what they call Google service ads and, it, and they'll, it'll have a little checkbox saying verified by Google. 
If you want more information about that, just go to ads.google.com forward slash local service ads. Next action step, you got your profile set up. Now you've got to get client reviews right now. Put the priority on Google first, Zillow and Realtor.com after, and then the others by your choice. So what you're gonna do here is send a, once you get uh, the profiles that you want, you're gonna have links to those profiles and you're gonna want to send a review link to anyone and everyone you've ever worked with in the past, even if it did not result in a listing or a sale. Because people can still, even on Zillow, they can give you a review uh, and they can say that they worked with you or you could have this for rentals and so forth, okay? Now, do you already, I'm gonna give you a couple other tips here. If you already have reviews, I wanna show you if you don't have Google My Business, a way for you to maybe get some reviews very quickly. If you do have reviews on Zillow, Realtor.com, Facebook, etc., then maybe reach out to those folks and ask them if they would be so kind as to put that same review on Google, all right? So all you're gonna do is you're going to grab that, go grab it, right? Copy it off of uh, Zillow or wherever it is, Call them first, don't just send a blind email. Always call your clients first and let them know, hey, I'm working on my online presence. I didn't have a Google My Business profile and I know you use Gmail, so that's important because they, if they, they need to have a Google account, we're just gonna have them create one. And then you simply say, I was wondering if you'd be so kind as to take the Zillow one that you wrote me a few months ago and just put it on Google. I'm just gonna send you an email. I, I even grabbed it for you off of Zillow. Just basically click on the link and paste it in there for me and maybe you know click the five stars. Just talk to them about that, right? So that's the idea of how to get some things going right now. If you already have reviews on Zillow, Facebook, or any other place, copy that, paste it, talk to them first and get them to uh, see if you can get, get it on Google for you, all right? The other thing you can do with Google is have other people, not just past clients, other professionals vouch for your experience. And Google will let you allow that. It's not gonna tie to a transaction like it will with Zillow or Realtor.com. All right, final step is make this a process. So step three, integrate a client review system with every transaction. Let me walk you through this. It starts with your initial consultation. Every listing, every sale, every buyer, and every seller, you're going to fit into that initial consultation the importance of reviews, tell a story, have a story ready to tell, find out what platforms they're using currently. This is important because you're gonna to want to customize that later. You wanna be able to send them an email specifically to where, if they're using Zillow, Realtor.com, if they're a Google user, Gmail user, you can customize this email that you send at the end of the transaction, all right? So that's important. And there's always an opportunity to talk about reviews, um, you know, have a story. People, you can just talk about, do they use Yelp or other things before they purchase anything and just get into how important it is. Then there's usually another opportunity somewhere during the transaction or when you're working with a buyer or seller where they may say something like, wow, Jan, thank you so much. You, you've been great in, in helping us and you know, we, we got through that challenge. And if there's anything like that that happens, you're gonna have some fun with it. And you're gonna say, thank you so much, but you know what, save it for the review. Remember, I'm gonna be talking to you at the end of our transaction. Uh, and you know, can you just remember that and, and you know, just have some fun with it because they're gonna be like, absolutely, Jan, you know we're gonna give you a great review. So now you're done with the transaction, you create an email asking for the reviews with the links um, to, to your profiles based on the places they've told you that they are, right? And then make it easier for them until they can just cut and paste it. You tell them that you're gonna send this, then you send it via email. Now here's the key, guys. Not everybody's gonna do it right away for you. It may take four to five reminders to get it done. Just be aware of that and don't be afraid to ask more than once. It may take three, four, five asks, gentle reminders, and they will finally do it because they're gonna feel guilty. It's just gonna, it's just like everybody else. They're busy. It is going on that list of things they're definitely gonna do, but they're busy, life is busy, and they just haven't gotten around to it yet. So. You just remind them and they will do it for you, but you're gonna to have to remind yourself to do that. So put it in your CRM, build a little CRM uh, uh, campaign around getting client reviews or put it in your calendar, do something so that you ask more than once. And finally, right now it's a great time to reach out to anybody that you've done business with this year, like I, I said a moment ago, and ask for reviews now, okay? You, you could even go back a year or two it's important, it's so important that you really own your presence. And if you follow these steps that I've covered today, get your profiles, get reviews, 
put it into a system so that every time you have a great successful closing, somebody gives you a review, it'll really start adding up and you'll start to see the results from that. All right, final thing, we have all of that. If you don't have to do Zillow, Realtor.com, Google My Business, you can actually get our free social media and online presence module. There's a link right below in uh, the description here. Head on over to WBNL Coaching. That link will take you to where all of our free courses are and all our other freebies. And uh, everything I talked about today, I have some videos on walking you step by step everything that we just covered. All right. So get out there, do it, own your presence online, and get client reviews. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.